It's right in between the second and the fourth trump, the third trump. Chapter 8, Book of Revelation. A lot of people think this is something that is about to happen or just happened within the last few years. Nope, not on your life. This is something that happened a long time ago. So long ago that it's being recorded in the book of Genesis or the book of beginnings in the Hebrew Bible. And I'm showing you the repercussions of this event as it's recorded in a whole nother book entitled Genesis. Now let's read this account and we'll understand what's taking place. And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of the waters. Now before you get all upset or confused, I'm going to show you scripturally what these fountains of waters are. They're the word of Jesus Christ. I'm going to show you who has conveniently parked himself over top of these fountains of water per the book of Enoch. And it's going to describe his name as Leviathan. Leviathan is going to relate back to the book of Revelation, which is connected to Apollyon, chapter 911, which is representative of the bottomless pit. Bottomless pit is going to translate to Hori Deep per the Strong's Concordance. And then Hori Deep per Strong's Concordance is going to translate back to the abyss. And then the abyss is ruled over by none other than Apollyon. Apollyon translates now directly to Inki, which is Lord of the Apsu, which translates directly back to Hebrew as it is being translated in the English as abyss. Okay, so what we find out is that Inki, all right, the Sumerian god of the underworld, Inki, is coming up to be a pretty big player for this representation of this great star that was burning as it were a lamp. Now, as we say great, anything connected to great is going to be connected to Babylon the Great, the Great Red Dragon. In essence, it's this overawing, over mesmerizing deception connected directly to the doctrines of Lucifer, which is upon the world. So anything representative of his supposed greatness is being dictated with his title great before it. So you'll see the great mountain and the great red dragon and so forth. So now we see the star is burning as it were a lamp. And then lamps are descriptive of seeing in the darkness. Genesis gives you the other side of the coin showing you that the darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now we see this being offering himself up as the only light in the darkness of which he's created. We also see that he's being descriptively shown is falling upon the third part of the rivers and then conveniently enough, it says, upon the fountains of the waters. Now, the fountains of the waters are going to directly relate back to the words of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to show you that. But before we go further, keep in mind, this is happening way long time ago. What I showed you in Genesis. And then we see the repercussions of it. It says, in the name of the stars called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. The waters now are representing the spiritual word, and we see a third of the word has become bitter because of this star which has fallen a long time ago using the symbolism of wormwood. Now we see them that's going to fulfill this in the physical, and they are with the second cup, and that's going to be the supposed asteroid that's going to cause this destruction on the globe. And it's going to be in multiple locations, just like the first cup, 911, is in multiple locations. The second cup also will be multiple locations. But keep in mind, it's them doing this, and they are trying to mimic this original star falling from the heavens, and they're going to do it as the second cup which destroys commercial Babylon. It's kind of like a play or a reenactment or a dedication that they're offering up to this supposed God before he enters into the material realm, which we just talked about earlier as his fifth dimensional presence in the four dimensions. So think about it. So now we see the waters have become bitter and many men are dying throughout history because of these bitter waters, these supposed doctrines of truth of which he has darkened and polluted. Now let's look at the proof that shows us where this star is over. This is the book of Enoch. It's going to be page 67. That's the chapter. Let's read it. And it's going to be Leviathan. And that day shall be distributed for food to monsters, a female monster whose name is Leviathan, dwelling in the depths of the sea above the springs of water. Did you hear that? Leviathan is dwelling above the springs of waters. I'll be back. <laughs> 